Oh, you you have. Have. That's great. All right. I'm happy to see you all after this vlog. How are you doing these days, everyone? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good as well. I'm good. Thank you so much. Okay. So first of all, I would, would like to welcome all of you to Jelecta. And in this class, we'll be learning about Christmas Carol. Okay. It's a novella and we'll be learning about it today. Before we start, I would like to quickly tell you something about Delecta and also the boards we cover it. So here you can have a quick click, the boards for 11 plus and for GCSE that we take. And from KS1 to KS4, different subjects that we take up. And we have different master teachers who will be supporting and guiding you throughout for your preparation. So you can have a quick look for this. And now I would like to tell you something about Delecta, what we'll be offering you. So we'll be offering you highly interactive classes and you, um, the exam oriented revision preparation practice, previously papers, and you can have a quick look for the key features right here. So I hope that it's easy for you to understand as well. Now, let's move towards one-stop solution. What is one-stop solution? The methodology that we'll be taking up to you in order to understand, in order to finish the preparation. So that will be included notes, practice tests, exams, lecture, counseling, past year papers, which is so important. Now, I would like to tell you about today's topic. So the topic that we are going to do is Christmas Carol. You can put a quick heading to it that we'll be learning about Christmas Carol. So it's very important for your GCSE preparation as well. So as we can guess, it is written by Charles Dickens, right? And the key aspects that we'll be taking in this class is the plot of the theme, the plot, the theme, staves, and exam-based questions. How it will be asked in your exams as well. So make sure that you all have microphone on and you all have pen and paper so that you can make notes. So are you all ready for this? Yes? And could you all please um, turn on your um, videos as well? That would be highly appreciated. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Now, let's discuss about quickly the platforms that we do have. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. And also, you will be happy. You can get these details, the contact details here. Um, if you'd like to enroll with us, you can contact on these numbers as well, okay? And uh, we have our YouTube channel. So with the help of YouTube channel, you'll be getting regular updates on the regular basis. Okay, so now let's talk about this. Let's talk about Christmas Carol. So as we all know, it is written by Charles Dickens. And who knows this? Can you can you can you tell me the character's name in chat box, please? Yes, exactly, Abdul. Yes, exactly. It is about that. And but in this class, it's not just we are not just doing the plot. We are doing it different methodology. Okay, Abdul, you're saying that it's nephew. Oh wow, Chantel is saying that it's tiny Tim. Exactly. I would like to clap for you. Exactly, he's Tiny Tim. Okay, Tiny Tim. As we all know, Tiny Tim, he, the adjective that is used for him is tiny. It's not exactly tiny. He is very great. Why he is great? He's great with the thoughts that he has. Okay, so that's why he is great. All right, now let's talk about this. Um, tiny Tim, he was suffering from a disease can anyone tell me what kind of disease he was suffering from i am getting multiple answers that he was nephew but the nephew name was fred he's not tiny tim is son of bob cratchit okay the nephew's name was fred everyone okay Abdul. 
And yes, so can can anyone tell me from what kind of disease um Tiny Tim was suffering? Okay. Okay, I can see multiple um examples. Oh wow. No, no, not 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 from plague D. No, it's not from plague. Um yes, he was a yes. Yes, he was crippled. Exactly. He was crippled. Yes, he was suffering from tuberculosis, rickets combinedly. Yes, he was suffering from these two diseases. Exactly. Well done. I'm so happy with the level of knowledge that you have. Amazing. All right. Now, he is our hero, Charles Dickens, who has written Christmas Carol. Okay. And there are some amazing facts about Charles Dickens as well, as you can read here. He was. He was, you know, he was forced to work when he was just 12 years old. He worked in shoe polishing factory. Yes. Can anyone tell me why he was pushed to, to work in factory? Oh, wow, Absol. Yes. Because in the Victorian ages, they used to take their oh. children to the factory so they could earn money for their family. Amazing, yes, because of the Victorian era and poor law, 1834, poor law. Because of that, he was like many, many, many children like him. They were, you know, they were poor. They were forced to work at this age. They were not entitled to studies, to education. No, not at all. And he was only 24 when he started writing his novel. Okay, he founded his own charity. He encouraged everyone to write, even women at that time. During that time, he encouraged women. He wrote Christmas Carol just in six weeks. Wow. Okay, and um, okay, shedding light on social issues. He was focusing, he was putting light on social issues and he had great sympathy for people from lower class. So I'm so happy that you all are answering these things. So this is about our hero, our writer, Charles Dickens. All right, now let's talk about Christmas Carol a little bit. As you can see, there are some important aspects. You just need to go through the, you know, the headline of it. Christmas Carol is a play about mean-spirited, selfish old man, Ebenezer Scrooge, okay. Who will tell me what kind of a personality Ebenezer Scrooge was? You can quickly type down in chat box. Can anyone tell me the dialogue of Ebenezer Scrooge? Anyone? The dialogue? What is the dialogue of Ebenezer Scrooge? Oh, wow. I would like to clap. Very good. Um, Very good, Absol. Very good, D. He was cold. He was miser. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He was, yes, he was miser. Unpleasant man. Okay. He was quite as a miser. Yes. And the dialogue, dull, cold hearted. I didn't get the dialogue yet. Come on. What's the dialogue? What was his favorite dialogue? Bah humbug. Yes. Bah humbug. Like when, when someone wishes you, when someone wishes you Merry Christmas and in return, Someone is actually replying to saying, bah, humbug. It's showing how cold attitude he has. Okay, very good. Amazing. I'm so happy that you are getting enrolled with the, you know, getting in, um, involved with this thing. Very good. Okay, now let's quickly talk about ghost of Christmas past, ghost of Christmas present, ghost of, Chris, um, of future. Exactly. And okay, what was another ghost? Can anyone tell me his friend's name? Come on, come on, put in the chat box. What was his friend's name? Anyone? Wait, for who? Yes. What was his friend's name? For who, though? Uh-huh. Wait, for who? Which, which man? Okay, his his ghost's name. There were three ghosts, but there was one another, the very first ghost. Wow, yes, exactly. Jacob, Jacob Marley, yes. He was the first ghost. 
who told him that three spirits will be encountering you. Amazing. All right, mm -hmm. before we move ahead, I would like to tell you something about this. You know, um, this is about the rapid course. If you haven't started preparing yet, you can quickly get enrolled with us. And this is the rapid course. You'll be learning, you'll be getting free live classes, smoke test paper, access to recorded lessons, daily homework, student notes, and best easy tips and tricks. All right, can anyone tell me he is Jacob Marley? Let's see who knows his one quotation. Can anyone tell me one quote? One quote of Jacob Marley. <laughs> any any quote of Jacob Marley? Come on. Okay. Yes. Yes, Yashvin. Yes, please. Um, Jacob Marley, I think, a fictional character. Mm -hmm. 1843. That's All right. What I, okay. What oh wow. Okay. But no, absolutely. The ghost of Christmas past. Jacob Marley is not the ghost of Christmas past. He is his business partner. Okay. They worked together for years, and then he died, and he is wearing this chain. Oh wow! Can you see this? This chain. What is the symbol? of this chain, wearing this chain. Yes, yes, that's the ledger, that's the box. Yes, now you can make this kind of box whenever it comes to make notes, okay? Traits, interests, beliefs, quotations, everything you can make like that. And you don't need to read it, you just need to, um, this is how you can make notes and this is how I'll be helping you. You can, you can just write like this, just the keywords about one character, any five to six keywords for per character, for one character. <laughs> so it's important to write, to know at least five to six keywords and quotations, just like there. Here, the ghost of Christmas present. Come on, can anyone tell me one trait of ghost of Christmas present? What kind of personality he was? Everyone? What kind of a personality ghost of Christmas present was? He was a giant. He was hungry. He was... He was... <laughs> yes? He was huge and vibrant. All the time. Yes? Yeah. Oh, very good. Here you can, you know, whenever you... So this is how you can make notes. You can here write ghost of Christmas, Christmas present. And then you can start writing just the word dominant, friendly, supernatural. You can make a box and start writing things like that. Only present. Only present means the person, the thing which is present everywhere, such as air. Air is only present. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the trick. This is how you can write things. Okay. This is how you can make notes, you know, for every character. Write the character. Start writing the key points of that particular character. Easy. Same for Jacob Marley. He was regretful. He was impatient. He was restless. He was tortured, desperate, ignorant. Before his death, he was ignorant, right? Now he is carrying heavy chains and leisures around his neck as a punishment. Whatever he has done in his entire life, now he is suffering that. Scrooge's nephew, he was patient, just like, you know, some students told me in the beginning, yes, friendly, he was friendly, he was, um, he was very jovial, he was welcoming, okay, he was full of life, full of love, full of, um, you know, a lot of emotions, 
Okay, so he was like that Scrooge nephew. Um, Scrooge nephew was okay. Now, this is um quick notification that admissions are open for 20, 2024 um to twenty five session, and you can get yourself enrolled. And already twenty percent off you'll be getting once you are enrolled with us. Okay, now let's talk about this. That's the task here. All right, Yashwin, can you quickly read the first question, please? Um, if you could invite three characters from A Christmas Carol to your holiday dinner party, who would they be and why? Okay. Which character? Which three characters you'll be inviting? Ghost of Jacob Marley? Will you be inviting him? Oh, I can see all you'll be inviting the ghost of Christmas, the ghost of future. You'll be inviting him, the black in figure. No, he's he was scary. Yes, all right. Or you can, um, you can also say, in your opinion, what's the most powerful symbol of metaphor? So you can quickly pick any one question. Write a character from a Christmas Carol. Do you relate the most? So there are these three questions that I have asked. Oh, okay, I can see Abdul has written three characters name that he wanted to um, invite. Nephew, the ghost of Christmas past, and Jacob Marley. Oh, wow, Abdul, um, um, ghost of Christmas past, why you would like to invite him? Because he'll be, he'll be taking to, you know, you to the back time, yes? Oh, wow. So smart. Very good. Thumbs up. Ghost of Christmas present, Fred Bob Pratchett. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Very good. So keep by keeping this in your head, let's start reading the story for the students who don't know it. And after reading this, you'll be getting, you'll be having some fun and amazing questions. Okay. Now um, we can start, um, anyone can start reading. Okay, Taya, can you start reading the first paragraph, please? This is tape one. All right, how many staves are there in Christmas Carol? Can anyone tell me that? How many staves are there? Oh, wow, very good. <laughs> okay, 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 Abdul. It's okay, very good. Um, yes, there are five staves, exactly. Okay, now, um, um, Taya, can you start reading the first question, the well, first paragraph, please? Yes, Taya. I think you're on mute, so I can't hear you. Um, there, um, a third is there, a D is there, a nice shy is there, yes, rib is there. There are multiple students, so you can read it. Come on, one by one, we can start reading it. Anyone? Uh, thank you, Boggy, Christmas Eve, London. A shrewd, mean-spirited, cheap, state named Ebenezer Scrooge walked meticulously in his counting house. Outside the office peeked a little sign, Scrooge and Marley. Jacob Marley, Scrooge's business partner, has died seven years previous. Inside the office, Scrooge watches over his clerk, a poor dimin diminutive man named Bob Cratchit. The smoldering ashes in the fireplace provide little heat, even for Bob's tiny room. Except the harsh weather, Scrooge refuses to pay another lump of coal to the office. All right. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Who will go and read next, please? Yes, Vanisha, would you like to read it? Cancel, would you like to read it? Simona, Nasha, Atharif, D, Yathrib, Tayeb, Divine, Bidhuni. Where we have multiple students, yes. Oh, yes, please. Please, yes, yes, Abdul Hafiz, yes, he can start reading it. Suddenly, a ridiculous young man burst into the office. 
offering oh. friday greetings suddenly yes. um 31st young man burst into the office offering holiday greetings and an exclamatory merry christmas the young man drew his jovial nephew fred who had stopped to invite scrooge to a christmas dinner the grumpy scrooge responds with bah humble yes refusing to share in fred's christmas cheer after Fred departs, a pair of portly gentlemen enters the office to ask Scrooge for a charitable donation to help the poor. Scrooge angrily replies that, that prison and workhouse are the only charities he has been in this gentleman league and Scrooge confronts Bob Cratchit, complaining about Bob's wish to take a day off before the holiday. What a good is Christmas? Snipes that should shut down business. He begrudgingly agrees to give Bob a day off, and just that, but insists that he arrive in the office all the earlier the next. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, um, yes, D, could you could you read from here, please? Yes, D, can you hear me? A third, can you also read it? Everyone, anyone can read it. All, all they're okay. So if, if no one is interested, then I can read it for you, students. Okay, now what we need to focus on. Christmas Carol is about one character that is Scrooge, right? Ebenezer Scrooge. He was extremely, you know, we can say um tight-fisted, rude, cold-hearted lonely yes he wanted to live alone he didn't want to celebrate christmas okay he didn't want to, to do charity so we are talking about him and then he got to me one um we can say uh his nephew on christmas day before christmas eve and nephew wished him merry christmas and then he said, bah humbug, he's not interested in celebrating Christmas. Even two people, two portly gentlemen, they came to his house and asked for charity. Like, let's do some charity. It's Christmas. So what, what you know, Scrooge said to them that, okay, Christmas means holiday, means no work, means to shut down the business and no profit in the society right? So he even disrespected those poorly gentlemen and kicked them out of the house. He let his dog bite them so that they can leave the house. Yes. So this is, this is what, you know, we got to know about Scrooge, what kind of a personality he was. Okay. So this all happened. And then we have one, you know, one character, Bob Cratchit. He was his clerk. He worked under, you can quickly write this thing in your notebook, Bob Cratchit. He was his clerk, Bob Cratchit. If you already know the name, that's it's good. You can write this and then you, you can know about who, who was Bob Cratchit. He was his clerk, but he was he was very poor, but he was very calm composed and he was working in winter okay and his master was not even able to give him a lump of coal so that he can warm himself not at all because because we can say that scrooge was so 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 tight-fisted that he was not into to get you know him a lump of coal okay but he had a family who bob cratchit he was poor, he was very poor, and he was working for his family. And then he had a kid whose name is Tiny Tim. He is crippled, as we all know, right? So in first stage, what happened? You know, when he was working, suddenly this ghost came in front of Scrooge, okay? While he was preparing, you know, to go to bed. And this was Jacob. You can write this thing down. Jacob Marley. He was there. And what he did, 
he informed he informed Cruz that yes he informed him that you know three spirits will be coming and giving you multiple experiences yes so Bob Pratchett he was his clerk and Jacob Marley was his business friend okay now so he was ready okay Scrooge was ready and he was so scared like what will happen then he was sleeping and he met this first spirit first of three spirits that is the ghost of Christmas present he took him to multiple experiences from his childhood to you know what kind of a you know apprentice he was where he was working about his boss about his engagement and then engagement was broken because of his behavior and he was miser and everything right so he was so uh, he got too emotional too emotional to know this and then the experience was over yes okay so this is also about the next live event then you'll be getting for GCSE so if you have your near and dear ones who would also like to attend this please share the information all right thank you now the ghost of christmas present told him <laughs> childhood and everything then when he again got to bed he encountered the second ghost ghost of christmas present he is 40 just like the things i have told you he was dominant friendly supernatural omnipresent so these things he had these qualities yes i hope that you have written these points about ghost of christmas present okay so he told him about today's situation okay i'm going to i'm going to write some quotation for ghost of christmas present so i hope that you all can write this thing down with me okay you write this thing down this is very important quotation this boy is ignorance <laughs> and this girl is want so you can please can you please write this thing down which is very 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 important quotation from ghost of christmas present and it's very important for your novella <laughs> done oh yeah okay this boy is ignorance and this girl is want okay I hope that you have written this down. Now let's move towards. So then Ghost of Christmas present also made him realize that what is the current situation of London? Like, you know, it was written. Can anyone tell me when um, it was written? Can anyone tell me that? What was the setting of this novella? What is the setting of this novella? Victorian era. Yes. Wow. Victorian era and what were the causes of Victorian era? What what was Victorian era? Why it's so famous? Can anyone tell me that? Can you put that in the chat? Victorian era. The most important thing, it's about industrial revolution. In Victorian era, industrial revolution was there. Yes. Yes, exactly. Poor low 1834 was there. Okay, poor people were forced to live in factories and workhouses. Why? Because they were abandoned and yeah. they were not allowed to live on the roads because that will be demeaning, that will be degrading for London streets. So they were forced to live in factories, workhouses, and very poor condition was over there. Okay, now um, let's talk about this. If you have written this thing down. The Victorian era, that's why it's so important. And medical illness was spreading. So Tiny Tim is a very strong example 
you know, children were crippled and there was not enough money <laughs> for people so that you know, they can get family <laughs> members treated. That is so pathetic. So, okay. So with the help of um, host of Christmas present, Scrooge got to know, okay, Tiny Tim is, you know, he, he will be dying soon. And he became so disheartened. He became so sad. Okay. Now, who was the third spirit? That was ghost of Christmas. That, that was the, you know, the ghost of future. It was about, he was a very dark phantom-like figure. Okay, phantom ghost like figure, and he was silent. You know, the most important thing about this, he was silent. He was so scared. Scrooge got so scared, and he suddenly he kneeled himself in front of ghost of you know, ghost of future. That please let me let me see whatever you wanted me to see. Yes, and then he made him saw a graveyard, a churchyard, where the spirit points him towards a freshly dug grave. And this grave was of Ebenezer Scrooge. Okay. So, so, so disheartened. And he, he got so scared. He'll be dying. Okay. Yes. So the, in the next stage, he decided that he should mend his ways. He decided he changed himself. Okay. So now, can anyone quickly read this, please? Mm. Are you okay. right? Please read this. Atharv, Nasha, Divine, anyone? Anyone in the class, please? Um, which paragraph? Okay, from here, from Scrooge, grateful. Please, can you, can you please read from here? I can read it. Mm -hmm. um, so, Scrooge, grateful for a second chance at his life, sings the praises of the spirit. Um, Jacob, and, and the Charlie. Upon realizing that he has been returned to Christmas morning, Scrooge begins shouting Merry Christmas at the top of his lungs, generally overjoyed and bubbling with excitement. Scrooge then takes <laughs> <and dance. laughs> <laughs> office to pay the first boy to <laughs> <laughs> just, okay. just give me a moment, please. Thank you. Um, should I continue? Yes, please. Yes, you can go ahead. Okay. okay. He meets one of the portly gentlemen who earlier sought charity for the poor and apologizes for his pre previous rudeness, promising to donate huge sums of money to the poor. He attends Fred's Christmas party and radiates such heartfelt bliss that the other guests can hardly manage to swallow their shock at his surprising behavior. Yes, and the following morning, okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much for reading. Thank you. The following morning, Scrooge arrives at the office early and assumes a very stern expression when Bob Pratchett enters. 18 and a half minutes late, Scrooge, feeling disgust, begins to scold Bob before suddenly announcing his plans to give Cratchit a large raise and assist his troubled family. Bob is stunned. And, but Scrooge promises to stay true to his words, okay? What he did, he gave him a raise. Okay, giving him a raise, it's the significant example that the workers during that time, they were working at very low wages, yes? The basic reason, the main cause of the problem of the society was the low raise, not assisting poor, because of that, you know, there was a strong influence of poverty during that time. Okay, so this is how he changed himself. He changed his ways and he became a better person in his life. Yes, and at the end, Tiny Tim, he yelled and he, with happiness, he said, God bless us, everyone. This is very famous, you know. 
Why? Because Tiny Tim, even being he was crippled, he had the spirit to remain happy, you know, joyful and giving life. You know, Tiny Tim was that person who melted Scrooge's heart. Scrooge is an oyster, you know, oyster, a shell-like. Why a shell-like? Shell-like means inside he is very soft, but outside he maintained himself as a hard, you know, oyster, a shell, which is very hard. Okay, I have some quotations. You can quickly write down these quotations, okay? And you need to tell me, this is said by whom, okay? This wealth, his wealth is of no use. Can you quickly write this thing down? And it is very significant to him. He don't do any good with it. Can anyone tell me, please? It is written by, it is it, like, who told this, this quotation? <clears throat> oh, wow. Really, Ansel? Okay. Okay, once, you know, um, whenever in future we'll be having class together, Abdul, then you, I'll definitely, I'll be listening to your experiences, okay? You can tell me about your experiences. Okay. Okay, this is also important, please. You can't even write this thing down. One, two, very important and crucial quotations. Can you, can you read behind me? Very good, Yashwin. Yes, exactly. Scrooge's nephew. Yes, very good. This was told by Fred. Fred told this to Scrooge, like, you know, about him, about Scrooge, that, you know, his wealth is no use because he don't use, uh, he don't use it for anyone's good. He, yes, very good for a large family. Very good, Yashwin. Very good. Amazing. Okay. Um, I wear, okay, I'll, I'll make you write this on another slide. Okay, I hope that you have written this down, these three important quotations. You know, students, when we are doing any texts or anything, it is so important to do quotations on themes and characters either you know okay this is the quotation for themes and characters very good scrooge described as being an oyster very good very good gashwin i'm so impressed excellent yes this was used for scrooge this is very you can you can write that it's a metaphor and it's super 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 important metaphor like you know whenever you are framing your an essay you're writing an essay framing an essay if you are including these quotations you are doing an amazing job like you don't need anything else then if you know the quotations you know everything let me tell you that okay now um one more theme which is important one more quotation which is very important for you to write um all right here um I, i'll be writing it over there okay I wear a chain. I forged in life. Very, very, very crucial. Please write this thing down. Symbol of the results of the actions. I acquired, okay, you don't need to write this thing down. Okay, 
of the results. Yes. Yes, it is very important. Yes, everything like th there's not like, you know, one quotation which is particularly important. Bar humbug is super important. Okay, this is very important again because it's telling about the results. You will get after life whatever you have earned during the life. Here you can see ledgers, you know, the chain, it's the baggage, it's the weight that he is taking. He is, you know, he's holding and it's painful. Okay, now let's get started for some interesting questions. Before that, can you quickly write down important themes, please? These are very important themes for Christmas Carol. Christmas, redemption, social injustice, and Family. How many of you here thinks family is very important? Please raise your hand if you know, if you feel that, you know, family is the strength. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you can even put in chat box why family is a strength for you. Yes, family is strength. Okay. What is redemption? Can anyone tell me that as well? What is redemption? Like being redeemed getting a second chance wow yes getting a second chance yes that is called redemption scrooge got can anyone tell me why scrooge got redeemed this is one something which is you know high order thinking skills question why do you think so that scrooge got redemption anyone okay yes yes please Yes. Um, was, he was shown by his like error. Um, as is redeemed by his unwillingness to change his whole attitude towards them. Wow. Okay. Very good. I guess divine. You also would like to tell me that why Scrooge was redeemed. Um, I raised my hand, like, because I wanted to like explain when Bob Marley had like those chains and like why. I like what I got from that. Yes, exactly. So, oh. Very good, Divine. See, exactly. You know, because he was an oyster. You know, oyster is something he has, you know, bonded himself. He is very soft inside, but he's behaving like a hard shell outside. That's why, but God, God knows that. That's why. He knows his inner intention. And that's why he had given me, given him a one chance to redeem. Christmas again. Christmas is the theme. Redemption, social injustice, why poverty is there and everything. All right. Now you'll be having 10 seconds to answer the question number one. What is the name of Ebenezer Scrooge's deceased business partner in Christmas, Carol? You have 10 seconds. 10. I need the answer in chat box. Let's get started. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, exactly. Very good. I got maximum answers in chat. Yes, that is Jacob Marley. Okay, second question. Which of the following is not the ghost that visited Scrooge during the night? A Christmas carol. 10 seconds. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, exactly. The ghost of Christmas dreams. Very good. Question number three. A Christmas carol, what is in the name of Scrooge's nephew who invited him for Christmas dinner? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Fred. Okay. What is the occupation of Bob Cratchit, Scrooge's clerk in Christmas Carol? What was the occupation? Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, he was his clerk. 
Okay, now number fifth. Which character from Christmas Carol famously exclaims, God bless us, everyone? You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's Tiny Tim. Excellent, excellent, wonderful. Very good. It's Tiny Tim. Okay, students, now it is very important, you know, writing an essay. So I have one thing for you. Like for every step, we have some important vocabulary, like what are important vocabularies all together in step one, step two. So what you need to do, you can quickly take the screenshot of this, please. And you need to gather the meanings. In our next class, we'll be discussing the meanings and where you can use these vocabularies. Because, you know, when it comes to reading novels, novellas, and writing an essay, so keep in your mind that vocabulary plays, vocabulary is the king, you know, vocabulary is the king. So yes, could you please take a screenshot? And you need to get the meanings of this in the next class. We'll be doing the dictations, okay? I'll be dictating you different words, that you must know how to write how to spell you must know the meanings it is super important okay now let's um i hope if you have taken the screenshot please give me the thumbs up if you have already done it can you please give me the thumbs up anyone thumbs up okay divine oh i got multiple thumbs up excellent okay now let's focus on the questions this is how specifically in GCSC, you'll be getting questions. So questions will be framed on two things. Number one, please keep this in your head always. Themes. Themes and characters. Very, very important. You must know the keywords and quotations. And same here, keywords and quotations. If you know this, you can frame any question. Trust me when I say this, any question when it comes to write it. Okay, now um, I have something to give you as well. Just give me a moment. All right, so I have some easy tips and tricks that you can write down um, when it comes to do the question answers, right? Okay, so this is how you can work on um, themes and characters. I think that we don't have much time. I think we need to wind up. So before that, um, we'll, we'll be doing in it next class and I'll be telling you how you can frame your answers. I'll be showing you the sample answers, how you must write it. Okay, so this is, um, you know, we'll be working together like this is, you can go for booking free demo class with us. And we have 98% success rate, right? You'll be getting grade and uh, you, you'll be getting live interactive classes, 24 by seven uh, technical team support and everything. You'll be getting access to the recorded lessons and everything. Okay, so what do you think about today's class? Do you have any question, any doubt or anything? Did you enjoy today's lesson? You can, you can put the thumbs up, it's fine. If you have enjoyed it. Okay, yes, Gaspin. Yes, please. So every Saturday, are they going to be like different lessons and subjects? Yes. Not just. Yes, yes. You'll be getting a lot of, like, you know, for the subjects that you would like to enroll yourself, you'll be getting that. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. It was lovely um... teaching you. Yes, please. Yes, Abdul. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. Take care. God bless you all. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Also, bye. I passed my level plus.